Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for the second half of your May from the 16th to the 31st. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. The plot is your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't res resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, what else? Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific uni unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So tell me about um, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio in love and the person that they are connecting with for the uh, second half of their May from the 16th to the 30. First, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. All right, let's see. We have the Fool card here. Aries energy could also be Aquarius energy. And the Five of Cups. Uh, someone here could be in regret here that they were non-committal here towards you. Or someone here is in regret that someone here acted like a fool. All right, five of wands, nine of pentacles. Let's take that, okay. So the five of wands and the nine of pentacles. The nine of wands and judgment, Sagittarius energy. And then we have temperance here, Sagittarius energy. Some of you is definitely looking for your forgiveness here. Yeah, uh, uh, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that caused a lot of conflict here. This is really interesting. I feel like this is this is conflict that this person caused, but I feel like also they're playing the victim here, or that I feel like they are. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Five of Cups, Two of Swords, Five of Wands, Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands here. You're definitely receiving communication here from somebody two of swords whoever this is i do feel like it's almost that this person's in complete denial that they have to apologize to you which is quite something here okay page of cups cancer scorpio pisces eight of wands here we have the wheel of fortune the knight of cups someone here is definitely coming back around with an apology yeah some here is definitely coming back with an apology, a reconciliation here. It could be a situation that this person is being hit with karma here. Uh, you know, it could be that the tables are turning on this individual because I feel like the way that this person has treated you, I feel like this is how this person treats other people too, you know? But I feel like, you know, I just feel like this person might be super immature. It has a hard time just apologizing for something that they did, taking ownership here. Tell me the person that Scorpio is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions for Scorpio? For the second half of their May, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Could be dealing with another Scorpio here. Okay. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. This person wants to talk to you. This person wants to clear the air. They find you very attractive. They find you very gorgeous. They like your style. They think you're really good in bed. I do feel like this is an individual that wants a passionate new beginning here. This person's definitely coming in with some sort of apology. Thing is, I feel like this person's emotionally very closed off though, Scorpio. Uh, Six of Pentacles here and a Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is, this is an individual that wants to put an effort towards this connection here and make this commitment happen or make this work. They want to make peace with you here too. This person's willing to fight for you here. They're willing to heal this connection. Four of Swords. 
Five of Swords, the Star card, Aquarius Energy. I mean, they could also be seeing you as a one here too with the Star card. The Page of Pentacles, Six of Swords, yeah, they want to move on from this. They don't want to argue with you anymore. They, won't, they don't want this beef here. Okay, they just want to move on from this. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords, King to the Queen of Swords. I mean, they're ready for the real deal here. This person's actually making some changes here. The thing is, it's really up to you whether you want to take this on or not. You know, because at the end of the day, you do have free will. You could do what you want here. Yeah. So the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Queen of Wands, uh, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about the outcome and advice here for Scorpio regarding their love situation. What else does Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on here for the second half of their May, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, Seven of Pentacles, Justice, the Devil and the Four of Cups, the Tower here and the King of Wands. We have the King to the Queen of Wands. Yeah. You know what? It's, be it's better to cut this out, to be quite honest here and not get this a chance, you're going to be wasting your time here because I do feel like the situation that you're in with this person is very toxic. Very toxic here. And I feel like also this person has a very explosive temper. This person has behavioral issues here. This person might have addiction issues. You know, I feel like this is an individual that might be apologizing just for the sake of apologizing. I do feel like you're about to be tricked by this individual again, but I feel like also, you know, you might be you know, you might be in this energy of coming to a realization that, okay, this has happened. I'm not going to let this person trick me again. Um, seven of Pentacles here and the Nine of Cups. Justice here and the Seven of Cups. I, I, I do feel like this is an individual that's quite selfish here. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's really, really, really grabby. I do feel like you're dealing with a karmic here. I do feel like you're dealing with a karmic here. The devil. The sun, the four of cups, and the four of wands here. You're, you're seeing who they are as a person. So I feel like if you have a, this conversation with them, you know, I feel like you're going to be rolling your eyes. Yeah, you're going to be rolling your eyes at this person. The tower and the strength card. The king of wands and the emperor here, Aries energy. This is an individual that's very controlling. This is an individual that has very poor boundaries. I feel like this person just can't accept no for an answer, you know? Yeah, I, I see you actually like leaving this behind and not even talking to this individual, to be quite honest, or that the conversation won't really last. So yeah, so Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.